Hey, it's Timmy. If you're going to Tableau Conference and you're remote, you're not going to actually be there in person, but you want to stay in tune with all the content, uh, check out what's going to be streamed live and also check out what's going to be in demand after the conference. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find it all out and plan those sessions so you know what to watch and when. As ever, let's get stuck in. Okay, so this took me a little bit of a time to figure out because there's no obvious sort of thing that says this. So I've kind of pieced this together using the information that's on the website and I'm hoping it pans out to be true because um, I've only s s purely sort of plugged it up. So let's first start by figuring out how to go find the sessions that will definitely be available on Salesforce Plus. If we go ahead to the sessions tab here at the top, you can see me just clicking it there. It loads up this page and then a little sort of search area loads up here in the middle. Now this is a really nice experience actually. Uh, on the left hand side, you can see you've got filters. You can go ahead and of course search for your uh, sessions. But if you go here to uh, miss the session, there's uh, this uh, tick box where you can say available on Salesforce Plus. Now with that capability, you'll see the list filters and you can see we go from, uh, if I untick that option, uh, let's just uh, remove that. You go from 216, 155 and 109 and it goes right down to a much smaller group of sessions. So it looks like roughly a third of the sessions are recorded, which I think is pretty good. It's better than it has been in the past. It's not as good as it's been in like really old school conference, but I think if you're getting customers to talk, sometimes they don't like their content recorded. So it makes total sense. You have to be there to sort of get the value. I get that. That's why the conference ticket has a price. Now, if we look at these uh, 52, you can then go ahead and filter these by role or by products. So if you really want to know, look, what's going to be on Salesforce Plus from a product perspective? Well, you can go ahead and select Tableau uh, from a product perspective, and then you can go to topic and go to uh, go take all your favorite products. So Tableau Cloud, Tableau AI, Embedded Analytics. Yes, please. Tableau Prep, Tableau Public, Tableau Pulse, Tableau Server. There you go, I'm full stack Tableau. These are the sessions available. And of course, if you go through each day, these are pre-filtered. You can see the filters here across the top, um, which is kind of nice. It's really nice and simple. Now, these are all going to be available on Salesforce Plus, but what's not clear is what's going to be streamed live and what's going to be available on demand. And so to find that out, we have to go somewhere else. <laughs> um, so what you can do, um, and I will call out one thing before we leave this page, it is possible to add to the schedule and go and hit this heart icon and build your schedule here. What I found is that it always seems to want me. So for example, you see I'm actually logged in. You can see that I've got an attendee info tab there. If I go add to my schedule, it will say, please uh, register for our event. So um, whenever I've clicked that, it wants me to go and buy a full conference ticket. I don't think it wants me to sort of use this session planner if I'm not attending in person. So this is why I say you need to go to Salesforce Plus to be able to plan this. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead to the uh, uh, homepage. You'll see that you get back to this landing page and to get to Salesforce Plus, to get to the event for this conference, just hit this register for Salesforce Plus button. Now I've already logged into Salesforce Plus. I've already got my account going on here. You can see it here on the top right. So because I'm already logged in, it just comes straight in and you can see that I'm already registered just here where I'm clicking on the left. Um, and you can see it says add to my calendar. I've already done that now. Here, there's a separate schedule picker. So you can get some information about, but if I hit schedule, you get a calendar of all the live streamed events as, as they're gonna happen. And don't forget, these are all Pacific time. So be super careful about this because you see at the moment, I'm seeing times in BST. So it's showing me the time specific to my time zone. But if you look at the sessions, those are all going to be in Pacific time. So you've got to be super careful about like when you think the session is. This already caught me out. Um, so I actually you know, put, put the conference time in for the wrong time. So 5.45 uh, to 7.30 is going to be uh, basically the main keynote. And then 7.30 to 8, um, there'll be like a deep dive after that for 30 minutes. So I'm probably going to stream from 5.45 to 8 p.m. Oh, my word. Jeez, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to load myself up for that day. Wow. Um, so yes, uh, this is basically going to be um, what's going on here now. In terms of uh, the schedule, if you like a session on the right hand side, if you look on the top here, you can go ahead, add it to your calendar, pops up this nice calendar banner. You can send your invite to Google, Outlook, whatever fills your boat. So I would do this so that you have it in your own calendar. The other thing is you can bookmark them. So you can go ahead and bookmark the, the main sessions you're super keen on. So um, yeah, when you bookmark them, the circle kind of goes complete. That's not super clear UI uh, to anyone designing this page. So let's just go ahead and uh, mark a few. And then when we've done that, if we go back to my schedule, uh, you'll see that those sessions are here. Nothing actually changed. But if I go to Wednesday, you see nothing's there. But Tuesday, we still have content there. So as you build your schedule, 
this basically becomes your sort of list of things you want to do. So go ahead and do this for the live streamed sessions. For all the other sessions that you want to do that aren't on here, if you go to this tab that says On Demand, here you have these different streams. So you have highlights, which are going to be summaries of Tableau doing anyway. I think they're just going to be cut out live from the conference. Essentially what Tableau do is on the Salesforce Plus stream, they have these sort of what I would call transition pieces of content that happen after a keynote or before something. And those are essentially highlights, people sort of talking about the features. And, you know, let, let's be honest, these are highly scripted. They've gone through them ahead of time. You have to do that. Otherwise, you're just going to fluff if you do it in, in real time live. But uh, they're really good, actually, for summarizing. The thing I will say about them is they're a bit of a hype fest, so they can be sort of very energetic and sort of, you know, high energy. And sometimes you can kind of feel like you're not getting what they're talking about. So if that's the case, don't worry. That's just that's just the intention. Come check out the comments. Come check out my stream. Come check out my Tableau conference keynote breakdown and we'll sort of go through it. Now, DataFam, um, I think these are pieces of content from uh, the community. So... These are pieces of content uh, made by members of the community. So this is a whole entire playlist just for their content. So this is this is really where you're going to come and see the sessions made by other people doing great things with Tableau. So I think that's really fantastic. Um, you've got the learning sessions. So these are, I think, are going to be sessions done by Salesforce or Tableau, but specifically training you on certain capabilities. So again, these are things that you go into conference to do sessions on. And they're really nice. They're really good ways of kind of getting into uh, specific sort of elements of the, of the product suite. So if you're new to, to this, this is going to be a really great learning resource. And then all things AI is going to be basically, you know, Salesforce's big, big push has been, um, you know, AI. So if you want to know how Einstein Copilot work, how Tableau Pulse works, uh, what, you know, embedding capabilities are, uh, LLMs in Tableau, like all of this stuff, all that detail is going to be in this playlist. So I think it's pretty clear how to navigate this, but I didn't sort of, I had to sort of piece this together. It wasn't really obvious to me. Um, so, you know, it, it's nice that this is this has happened. And there's, a, there's an FAQ here that sort of tells you when things will be available and so on and so forth. I tend to find the on-demand stuff turns up a day or two after the session. So we're really talking by the end of next week, everything will be here. But other than that, that's, that's how to sort of make the most of the conference remote and get everything uh, set up. So I think this is pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to be tuning into a lot of this as much as I can, of course. Um, I've got I've got life to get on with and, and work to get on with as well. So uh, I'm not attending in person. I'll be doing everything remote, but my time zone benefits me. So, you know, when the day gets going here at conference, um, it's normally after work and I can start to relax a little bit. So that's what I'll be doing next week. Um, that's it. I think we're pretty much done. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Uh, I am sort of going through, starting to, you know, get the content pipeline going again for, for conferences to make sure um, everything runs really quickly. I'm looking forward to doing the conference uh, keynote breakdown and also the live stream. I think that's going to be a really big, nice thing to do. So as ever, I'll see you in the next one.